purpose of this video is to show you how to turn on the LSM 700. Uh, hopefully this will serve as a reminder if it's been a while since you've been on the system. So startup instructions for the system will always be somewhere in the room. Uh, you can see here, uh, these are the standard startup instructions and we'll go through each step one at a time. And over here, what you can see are the new procedures uh, that are designed to pres sort of preserve your safety while you use the system. So personal protective equipment is required for the system. We require you to use gloves in here and a face mask. And before and after using the system, we need to disinfect it. So we need to wipe with pure ethanol on lens paper the eyepieces. So let me remind you. These are the eyepieces. This is lens paper. And you have ethanol in this red bottle. So we're going to use lens paper to wipe here and sort of around here. And then with 70% ethanol on a paper towel or Kim wipe, we're going to wipe the keyboard, the mouse, the joystick, the knobs, so things like this, and this, and the touch screen. We have 70% ethanol here, and you have paper towels of various kinds and Kim wipes. Okay, please spray the ethanol on the paper towel and not directly on the microscope, and then wipe the paper towel. So I can't do those things one-handed, so I'm going to do them, and then I will continue with the startup procedure. The microscope is now disinfected, so let's go on with the normal startup procedure. So the first step, a little bit of a glare, so I'm going to move this here. The first step is to log into the LSM 700 on the iLabs kiosk. I've already done that. Second step is to turn on the excite lamp and turn the intensity dial up. That's item number one, so step number two, but item number one. So let's look for item number one, which is here. So we are going to turn the Excite Lamp on, and then we are going to move this dial all the way up. That will allow us to see our sample by eye. What's next? We have to turn on the computer and log in. We have to turn on so the logging in, you don't have to do before you do the next steps on this system. So the next step is to turn on the left-hand power strip and the right-hand power strip. So the left-hand power strip is number three. I'm going to turn that on. You hear some noises as things turn on and move. And then we're going to turn on the right-hand power strip. Once that's done, we need to wait for the definite focus box to read off. So this right here is the definite focus box and it has a display where it says starting system and there's a progress bar. And it turns on various things and the very last thing it turns on is an optional component that it turns on to make sure it's working and then it turns off and it should say off. So that's a little bit confusing that it says off instead of something like ready, uh, but that's the way it is. You have to wait until that says off before the system is ready to be used. And so you can see now it says off and so we're ready for the next step. So the next step is to select the microscope on the touch screen. So here's the touch screen. Uh, the default panel on the touch screen is sort of not that useful and so what we're going to do is press this microscope button and then we get uh, this list of objectives which allows us to change the objectives by clicking around here and that's a little bit more convenient. Okay. So then we have to start Zen. So we haven't logged in yet. So I'm going to do that here. by clicking LSM user. There's no password. And then we're going to start Zen, which we do by double clicking here. Note that we have our confocal tips here on the desktop screen. So you can always refer to that for assistance on the very basic basics of how to take an image. Okay, so when we start Zen, we see this uh, dialog box, which has the option to start the system or do image processing. We're gonna say start the system. And when we do that, um, 
if there are any errors during startup, they will show up down here in a white box that's going to have some sort of weird messages. Uh, if that happens, please let the staff know. Um, that doesn't happen very often, but if it does, uh, those messages may let us know what is wrong and whether we can solve it by restarting the system or whether it's something more ominous where we need to call Zeiss. So you can see now, this is ready to go. Um, so let's put on a sample. 